So what happens if you need to collaborate with another researcher about a sample at the bottom end of your microscope? If you've ever wanted to share an image, talk in real time, zoom in on a part, we've got a great solution for you. Hi, I'm Andre from John Morris, and today we're gonna to talk to you about the M8 from the clever folks over at Germany, the company PressyPoint. This is a digital microscope which combines the best parts of a scanner and a microscope all in one at a fraction of the price of a normal scanning microscope. So what we've got here is the transmitted light version. And rather than a turret that rotates, you have three different objectives. You have a 20 times zoom all the way up to a 60 times zoom, which is what we have here. And then using the computer, you can go anywhere from two times up to the native resolution of your lens or digitally 350 times beyond that, meaning you don't need to rotate to get different lenses over or different objectives over it. You can just do everything you need right here from the touch screen. So let's try it out. Here on the screen, what we have here is a cross section of a plan sample. And I'm currently sitting at one times magnification on a 20 times objective. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna zoom in and you can see how quick this is and it will automatically refocus for me. I'm currently now at almost six times, 5.93. And if I wanted to zoom in a little bit further, I can. There I'm at 30 and I can zoom in a little bit further again. Now I'm at 119 times that objective of 20 times. So as we change our zoom here, you'll notice there's a scale that's actually changing. And that's really handy because you can slide that around and have a look at an object to get an understanding of its size. We've also got a number of tools there if that's not gonna work for you. We can have a look and draw a line to have a look at the length of something. So here in microscope mode, if I wanted to take a, a copy of this exact screenshot and, and send this to somebody else that I'm working with, I can just push this button right over here, take a snapshot, call it whatever I like. I can save that as a TIFF image or a JPEG or a bitmap, whatever is convenient, push save, and then email that file directly over to my collaboration partners. In scanning mode, what we can do is we can share a part of the image with another team via a free piece of software that you can download. And so we have the scanning microscope right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a dynamic file which offers essentially all of the features and benefits that we have. They can zoom in, on the actual image. They can move around, they can measure, they can do all the things that we can do right here. All they don't have is access to the actual slide in case there's something we didn't scan. So let's do one and have a bit of a look. So you can see here, here we have a cross section of a rat ovary. And that's just working its way through now to resolve this particular image for us. We're currently in instant scan mode, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across to scanning mode. And here we go. So the green box here is the area that we're going to actually scan and create a dynamic file from and then be able to send. What we can do is we get a, a complete copy of the slide that's currently underneath the objective. And we're gonna define the area that we wanna scan, not a second area. So I wanna zoom in and I wanna send all of this image right here to my collaboration partners. So here we have it and let's go. Oh, before we start, you can see there's a range of different focus, uh, focuses you have here. And it ranges between extraordinarily detailed focus, which takes you a little bit longer, or a single point focus where you can determine one point of focus and it will rapidly scan all the way through. At this point in time, we've got it set to intelligent focus, and that's a good kind of midway point between everything. So let's go. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us to select a folder and we'll go here and it's going to start scanning. So what it's going to do then is it's going to create a file which can be opened in the free version of the PressyPoint software. And you can download, download that as many times as you like and simply give that to your collaboration partners. And when they receive your file, they can open it in that software package and they can explore the file you've sent them at their leisure. So you can see here it tells you your 67 or 68 through 99 images that it's going to stitch together for you. 
In this particular case, we've scanned a, a reasonably large area. If we scanned a more defined area, you might expect a, an entire time of say 30 seconds rather than the two or three minutes that we've got right here. So what this is gonna do now is it's actually gonna launch in the free viewer program. Here we go. And as you see, we can move along, we can do all of the things that we would usually do. We can annotate right here. We can zoom in, we can rotate. We can have a look at things that we want to look at. Within the annotation mode, we've also got a handy counting feature. So if we define the area here, um, you can see we can label different species. And in species number one, we might identify some. It'll count them. Species two, we might say so these ones here. And you can see it's actually tallying them up along the right side and we can export all of this for later uh, observation by somebody else. One of the other really handy features about the software is the ability to apply filters that can help you to determine areas of irregularity or areas of focus. So let's have a bit of a look at that. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a color extractor filter and we're gonna say, well, we're gonna take this pipette here, we will pick blue color and then what we can do is we can actually remove all the other colors so that it highlights the area that we're actually interested in or alternatively what we could do is we can go for a level adjustment and we can invert the colors to see where the stains uh, the staining may have actually congregated or, or, or uh, been absorbed to a greater amount and so we can do quite a lot here to actually play with the image to make things either more obvious or more vibrant or, or even hide things that, that we don't want as distractions. And that's a really useful feature. Although the M8 has a brilliant autofocus, it also offers the opportunity to do manual focus so that you can have a look at different layers on a slide. And this is really ideal for histology samples. And the way that works is if we find an area that we're interested in and what we do is instead of relying on the autofocus mode, we're going to go into the manual focus. And this allows us to have fine adjustments here. And if things were at different layers, that would help us to focus on the different layers that are actually within the sample. So that's the M8 from Pressy Point. It's a fabulous microscope and it's a fabulous scanner. And it's really easy to share things. And it's at a very, very attractive price point for most laboratories who would want to do this kind of work. You've got the scanning abilities, you've got the sharing abilities, you've got the collaboration abilities. You can use this as an educational tool, you can use this as a team tool, um, you can save things for later, you can annotate. There's a range of applications, but a tool like this is just perfect for anyone who's doing histology or plant-based samples. We'd really love to see your thumbs up on this video and if there's anything you'd like us to shoot a quick how-to or educational video on, please let us know. Thanks for watching and bye for now.